Hey, this is Joe Quinn from Just Fruits and Exotics. I wanted to talk to you today about planting some potatoes. That's right, it's Valentine's Day again. Time to put those potatoes on the ground. I wanted to show you first a little bit about the uh, actual potato and how this works once they get into the ground. What we have here is a Norland red potato. And you see, as you see here, they already have some little shoots coming up out of the potato. This, is, uh, this happens in a process called chitting, where the potato itself starts to transform from your regular tuber into uh, the beginnings of a plant. So as you see here, we've got the shoots, but if we actually look at it really closely, you'll see some fine fibers right here, and this is the beginning of the roots. So this plant, this potato is ready to go in the ground. Of course, these are 100% organic seed, uh, certified potatoes. So these should turn out really well for us. We're gonna plant uh, about 30, 63 of these for uh, our three beds that we're gonna talk, talk about here in just a moment, so. Okay, so what we see here is a 4x8 bed. It's one of the raised beds we have. Uh, as such, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to use a technique called square foot gardening. Uh, being 4x8 in uh, dimensions, we can see we have four lines uh, going the short way across the box and an eight long. We've got to represent that or highlight it a little bit by using our sticks that we were using to create these lines, these bamboo sticks. And what we're going to do is the next step, once we have these lines laid out, is we're going to use the intersecting lines as our guide for where we dig our holes and ultimately where we're going to plant our potatoes. So we have our grid lines in place. We're going to identify the intersecting lines that we were talking about just a moment ago by using these bamboo stakes to actually mark each one of those places in the box. As you can see, these stakes are away from the sides of the box. When we when the potato begins to grow, we want to make sure that it doesn't run into the sides of the box. We want to give it the uh, most space possible to spread out. As the roots spread out, of course, that's going to be the place where your potatoes form. Uh, later in the process, uh, too, which I don't want to get too far ahead, but we'll also, in about a month or so, come back and hill these potatoes down these lines and by adding more soil to them. In the process of doing that, what we're doing is extending the length of the amount of, uh, of the vine that sticks into the ground. And then that's going to send out additional roots and then thereby create more potatoes. All right, here we are in the last stage of the process. We have our potato, our chitted potato. We have our holes dug. These, are, these holes are going to be dug approximately six to eight inches in depth. Uh, at this point, all we're going to do is take our chitted potato, put it into the ground. Of course, we want to make sure that the, uh, the shoots are facing up because they're going to come, they're going to rub through the surface in about 30 days. And then we're just simply going to cover them up. As far as watering, uh, you want the soil to stay moist but not soggy wet. Potatoes don't like really uh, boggy, uh, boggy soil. Um, and then over the course, maybe every two weeks or so, check the moisture and make sure that they're still um, retaining some, some water in here. We've actually assisted the potatoes in maintaining that moisture uh, this time by what we do is we use our own homemade compost to re-enrich the soil. Some of this compost is not entirely broken down yet, but that's okay, that's gonna rot down over time and actually ultimately feed the plants. And uh, so hopefully we're looking forward to having another uh, harvest of potatoes, probably in about another, maybe four months or just under four months. That's about it guys, just wanna show you what we've got going on here. We're gonna, we're gonna plant these three beds. We have the Northern Reds, we have some uh, German Butterballs and some Purple Majesty potatoes that we're gonna grow this year. I'm expecting probably somewhere 75 to 100 pounds of potatoes out of these three beds, which uh, should actually get us through the most of the year. So, all right. If you guys have any questions, of course, come see us at Fru Just Fruits and Exotics. We're going to be uh, selling quite a few um, of the vegetables this year, including seed potatoes. So we'll look forward to seeing you there. And remember, don't landscape, fruitscape.